Hello friends! So I've had this channel for a little while and I've never made an About Me video. So, we're gonna dive right in and I'm gonna give you all kinds of fun things that maybe you didn't know about me. Number one, we'll start at the beginning, a very good place to start. I was born in Los Angeles, California and then I moved to Texas where I currently reside. Yeehaw! Number two, I love sports, I watch them all the time and I grew up playing soccer and football and I still play racquetball several times a week. Number three, this one's gonna be a shocker for a lot of people, but I've never had a sip of coffee, alcohol, or an energy drink, and I haven't had a soda in over 10 years. Number four, I have one brother. His name is Grayson. He's one of the coolest guys you'll ever meet. He's an incredibly nice person. I'm thankful to have one of my best friends be my brother. We actually did a video together. If you look up We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together, the cover that I did, he plays trombone in that cover, which is just awesome. Number five, I have a bit of a sweet tooth. I love cookies, cakes, cupcakes, all kinds of desserts, cinnamon rolls, oh my. I love donuts, maple glazed, blueberry cake, all of it is awesome. But I do try to be healthy, so I have to be really careful with how much I'll eat. But man, I love, I love sweets. I just think they're heavenly. Number six, I love love, like romantic love. This is getting weird, but I really do love the idea of having a wife and I constantly think about who that's going to be and what she's going to be like and how I'm going to meet her and what she's doing right now. And if I start to think about those things too much, it starts to freak me out. So I can't think about it, but I can't help it because I love the idea of love. So that's number six. Number seven, I had a dog when I was about 10 years old. Her name was Sarah and she was a big dog, big, feisty, vicious dog. But one day she got a little out of hand, bit the back of my arm kind of took a piece of my muscle and skin off. And I had to go to the emergency room, get all stitched up, but I still love dogs. Number eight, I have a really hard time transitioning in the sense that if I'm focused on something, it's difficult for me to take my work somewhere else because I'm so incredibly focused on the one thing that I'm doing. And then once I finally start doing the next thing, I'm fine. But it's the idea of stopping what I'm doing to do something else that's kind of difficult for me. Number nine, I'm a bit of a workaholic, actually a lot of a workaholic. Usually a good friend has to step in and say, hey, you've been working a lot. We miss you in the real world. You should relax and have fun for a day. And then I'm like, oh, okay, maybe. But then back to work. Number 10, I'm approximately 10 minutes late to everything. I have a terrible perception of time and how long things will take. And it kind of comes across the wrong way if you show up late somewhere, but really I mean well, I'm just really bad at judging how long a certain activity is gonna take or how long it's gonna take to get to a certain place. I'm working on it. It's something that I actually work on a lot and I'm constantly telling myself, you're gonna be early this time. And I've actually gotten a lot better. Number 11, I am an extreme night owl and I stay up all night every night, usually until about six or seven in the morning. I just love it. People always try to tell me like, you need to get on a better schedule. But really the truth is I'm very happy being awake in the night and I'm more productive too. Like I like my schedule and it doesn't work for everyone. Some people really need to have the sun or else they get really depressed. I enjoy the night though. I like it. Number 12, I dislike cigarettes a lot and I've never smoked them myself, but I've seen the effects of cigarettes on family members, you know, friends. It's not good for your skin, your teeth, your lungs. There's so many things that are bad about cigarettes and yet so many people smoke them. I don't quite understand it. Things like secondhand smoke aren't fair to people who want to have a healthy lifestyle. So if it were up to me, we would just abolish cigarettes altogether. We'd have this beautiful clean air all around us all the time. Number 13, I do not sleep well at all the night before big events. And I'm usually restless and anxious. And if I do fall asleep, it's kind of that sleep where you don't know if you're asleep or awake, but you're laying there and you're like, am I asleep or awake? Number 14, I used to have huge gaps between all my teeth and I looked like SpongeBob. I really, really did. I mean that, I'll show you a picture. Yeah, I know. Number 15, I just realized my hands have been backwards this whole time. Number 15, my full name is Tanner Patrick Howe. Last name Howe, H-O-W-E. Patrick, my middle name, is actually the family name. My grandfather's name was Patrick. My great-grandfather's name was Patrick. He came over from Ireland about 100 years ago. So really the name has been in the family for about as long as we've been in the United States of America. Number 16. When I was 17, I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes and it completely changed my life. And it's a long story. And to be honest, it's probably a video of its own that I just haven't made yet. The truth is it's extremely manageable in this day and age and it's tough. It really is. It's a hard thing to have to 
to keep track of every single day. But I feel so hopeful for the future. If you look even at the past 20 to 50 years, the advancements that have been made for diabetic research, it's ridiculous. And I hope that we continue pushing to find a cure. And even if there's not a cure in my lifetime, I still feel really good about all the tools that we have as diabetics. I don't know if any diabetics are watching. If so, hey guys. Having a positive outlook is always key. And I think uh, I try to remember that every day. Number 17. My lung has collapsed twice on this side. Uh, it's called spontaneous pneumothorax, a random collapse of the lung. I actually had a hole in my lung, so it started leaking air, and I was like, no, come back, seal that thing up. So it got all sealed up. I actually had surgery done on it the second time. And when I left the hospital, they gave me this handy little device, and it's awesome. And basically, you breathe into it, and you try to get it as high as possible. It's kind of like that carnival game, you know, where you hit the, the hammer and the thing goes up, and you try to get the the bell. I usually breathe through this thing at least half a dozen times, maybe even more, uh, before I sing. Almost every time before I sing, actually. <sighs> Number 18. I burn like crazy in the sun. I can sit outside for 10 minutes on a sunny day and just be fried like a lobster. Fried lobster. But the cool thing is, I get these freckles. I don't know, I, I guess that's cool if you guys like freckles, if you're into that. Um, but my freckles come out and then my skin gets kind of tan for like a day. And then it's like, just kidding. Basically, I'm a vampire. Also, side note about being pale. A lot of people think that I wear like a, um, I don't know what exactly what it's called because I don't know a lot about makeup. Concealer, is that what it is? Or something underneath my eyes. And I really don't. It's because I'm a redhead and I have pale skin, I guess. I get really red right here. So people think I'm wearing blush. And then I, I have like light blue lines and like circles under my eyes. Number 19. I love video games. Always have. I don't play them as much now as I used to because I feel like I don't have a lot of time to play them because I'm doing other things, usually like music projects, but I do love video games and I love Super Smash Brothers. I'll take anybody on. I'll take you on. Let's do it. And I love Zelda. Number 20. I get really anxious in big groups of people, house parties, etc. I don't know what it is about like a house party. I've always felt this way. I've always felt just uncomfortable and like I want to be somewhere else when it's happening, but I really enjoy one-on-one -on -one or maybe a small group of people. I feel like that's where I thrive, kind of do my best work. I don't know what to call it. I guess I'm more of an introvert than an extrovert, but I feel like an extrovert that's like kind of like a conflicted introvert. I love people. I think they're awesome. And I love the connection, the relationships, all of that. I just get overwhelmed a little bit when it's a big group for a first time. Well, that's it. I hope you guys learned something new about my weird self while watching this video. I'm sure you did because I don't have a lot of videos like this on my channel, but I'm planning on doing more. So if you enjoyed this one, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and I will see your beautiful self again very, very soon. I love you guys. Bye.